We're really thrilled at the response to watching OJ. It's gotten terrific reviews. We've been able to uh, bring all kinds of people into the theater to see it, and it's been a really terrific, successful show. We're really happy about it. And it really represents a beautiful array of what Los Angeles is, different people and their experience the day that the OJ verdict happened. And it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's watching OJ. So uh, I'm actually a native Los Angelino, and I remember the O.J. Simpson trial very well. I wanted to explore history, but also do it in a way where they're related, these issues are related to the, the things we're dealing with right now. All I'm saying is that the people who rioted, they may have been decent law-abiding citizens most of the time, but the minute they started to loot and to break windows and to burn down small businesses, they acted like animals. So some of those cops who beat up Rodney King. Oh, no, you can't compare the two. You can't? No, you can't. I grant you, those cops crossed the line, but they were also defending themselves against a guy who was high and potentially dangerous. Oh, yeah, Rodney King looked real dangerous while he was on that ground, <laughs> damn near unconscious, and they were beating him with those batons. You, you graduated from Brown, summa cum laude. I never finished college. You starting to be a doctor? I'm a mechanic. And you from Brent went out from the hood. I mean, it was fun, but this whole West Side Story thing wasn't going to work out, not in the long run. I had to check myself because I've been dealing with this character in this play for about two and a half years, and I was like, i got to make this thing fresh. It can't be autopilot. I'm thrilled that the place that we, um, the place that I started writing this play uh, is the first theater that got to produce it. You know, I think EST has been so supportive. It's a family and it's a tribe, and that's what theater should be about. And I think when you come to see one of our shows like Watching OJ, you understand the, the blood and the sweat and the love that goes into making something like this happen. I'm grateful that I could have a home in Los Angeles, a theater home and with a group of people who we're growing together and uh, giving each other the opportunity um, to, uh, to fly and to do good work.